Okay, hi. So we're gonna go to some of the more difficult, complex number questions for the Olympiad AMC, mm -hmm. and this is one of them. Sum from n equals to zero to forty of the term i imaginary number to the power of n cosine forty-five plus ninety n. Wow, that's a big statement, and we need to find the answer for that. So let's just have a quick think about it now. There is n to 0 to 40. Okay, so we gotta be careful a bit because n starts from 0, so we have 41 terms. We're counting n equals to 0 as the first term. And then we got i over here. So we wanna just think about what really is i. i, as we know, it is equals to root minus 1. Okay, now we know that. And we know that i can exist as it's an imaginary number, it's like that. However, if we have i squared, something interesting happens because. Uh, we square root times square root negative 1, we get negative 1 over here. Okay, this is i squared. Okay, so it seems to me, then let's just carry on. So i to the power of 3 would be imaginary number times this, which is minus i. Okay, and then later we put i to the power of 4, and it's equals to imaginary number times this, which is a minus 1, and negative a minus 1, so it becomes a 1. Okay, let me just get the cat out first. Is a okay. okay, and then later i to the power of 5 is equals to i again, which is the same as minus 1 as we have over here. See, i times 1 is i, and it's the same as square root of negative 1. So, for the i imaginary number, is if we square it, take the power of 3, 4, 5, and 6, and so on and so forth, there's a repeating pattern which goes on like this. So, now having this in mind, it can, we may want to think, we are tempted to think, or we should think in that case that we can break out the sum of 41 terms into different slots. Because if i repeats itself after a cycle of 4 and it goes back up again as the first term, it kind of seems to me that there's some way that we can think of the problem where 4 terms are repeating itself over and over again. And that way, we can find the sum from 0 to 40. Because if we have those four terms, and then it repeats itself, we can find the sum of those four terms, and then after that, we can times by how many, how many times these four terms appear. You will see what I mean in a minute. Now, then we move on to cosine. Well, what do we know about cosine? I believe it's best, especially when I deal with trigonometry problems. I always try to sketch out the graph. So, what is a cosine graph? Well, let's just see. This is pi, and this is 2 pi over here, and it goes like this. And as we know, the period is 2 pi, so it will just keep on repeating itself, just like how i will repeat itself. So things are getting a little bit interesting, because if, I, if, the, if the imaginary term repeats itself, and the cosine term repeats itself, that means this two will repeat itself, and for every four terms, they will be the same. So, cosine, cosine 45, as we know, is a special angle. I'll just write it here. Cosine 45 is equals to 1 over root 2. Okay, from the equilateral, uh, sorry, the right-handed isosceles triangle. Okay, so, what I like to do is that I will put 45 degrees here. Okay, this is in um, degrees, so let's just change this up. Two degrees, 180 and 360. Okay, now this is 90, so 45 is going to be right here. Okay, and that is 1 over root 2. Okay, I always like to look at the graph because it is really a good representation. So later, when we plus 90, okay, because we started out with n equals to 0, so later when we plus 90, we will go over here on this side, and what do we know? Down here, it's negative 1 over root 2. Okay, basic symmetry of the graph, or if you want to do the quadrant method, by all means. Then later we add another 90, so we'll move all the way over here, which is the same again, 1 over root 2, and we add another 90, which is the angle 315, which is over here, okay, it will be 1 over root 2. So, by looking at it, this term repeats itself, this term repeats itself, maybe this problem isn't so difficult after all. Okay, what I like to do, I would like to go like this, n, okay, I write i here, and I write the cosine 45 plus 90 
Okay, I'll just write this over here like that. And then I'm gonna do from n to zero, n equals to one, n equals to two, n equals to three. Let's see whether we need n equals to four. Okay, so now, just like what I showed you, this time we're just gonna start with n equals to zero. So imaginary number is one, to the power of one is i, to the power of two will be minus one and minus i. Okay, and then it'll be back to one again. So this is fine, okay? And we are a bit tempted to think, okay? And I'm teaching you all these techniques because you can really use them for the rest of the problems. By looking at this, I will immediately think this way, okay? See whether you follow me. This is a summation, correct? So we're gonna sum a lot of terms. And when I look at this, I can somehow um, think ahead, think two steps ahead, that this term is gonna cancel this one over here, and this term is gonna cancel this one over here. Now, I'm tempted to think like that because I'm just looking at the imaginary number. However, looking back at the statement, it's this term multiplied by this one over here. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that this will cancel off this term may not apply strictly because we need this term over here as the two multiply with each other. So, having said that, let's settle this one now. Okay. N equals to zero, like I said, one over root two. One over root two followed by negative one over root two, followed by negative one over root two, and one over root two. So, having said that, do the terms cancel out each other? Well, think about it. No, because this multiplied by this, it'll be negative this number, and this multiplied by this, it'll be negative this number. So, it'll be minus i over root two, then you minus i over root 2. That means they don't cancel out each other. That doesn't work. Similarly, this is 1 over root 2, and then you're going to add 1 over root 2. So, that means instead of cancelling out each other, they, instead they add up together. Now, that means, what does that mean? Well, that means my initial plan didn't work out of the terms cancelling out each other. But that doesn't matter, because now I know that at least they add up with each other quite nicely.